His record in the 21st century cannot be broken by any Rangers player. The first hockey player in the terms of goals scored in all official matches won the hearts of Omsk fans and simply a successful businessman who plays for his own club from the Czech Republic. And all this is he, Jeremir Jagger. Today you will see an issue that has not yet been on the internet. All the most interesting and incendiary about Jeremir Jagger. Are you ready? Let's go! For the first time, Jagger took the club at 4 years old. And the first club, and by the way, the current one at the moment, was Kladno. At that time, his family lived on a farm where work was simply endless. Therefore, from an early age, he helped his parents for 5-6 hours a day, and then went to training, which in comparison with the master's chores was evening rest for him. In the club, he was immediately noticed a future star, because his training was excellent compared to his peers. After all, every day hockey players quoted a thousand times. I think now you understand that Jagger has established himself as a strong personality in childhood. But first things first. The player spent his first full season in the Czech Hockey League at the age of the 16 and scored 18 points in 39 games. And therefore, in the second season he immediately started playing in the first link, scored already 60 points and became the main hope of the club. And despite such decent figures, Jeremy did not earn a single penalty for the season. Bright performances in the Czech League were remembered not only by the players and fans of the club, but also by the NHL scouts, who wanted to snatch this tidbit before their competitors from overseas. In general, few people in the world believed in Jagger's transfer to the NHL, because there was a politically unstable situation in the country, and he could simply not be released outside of it. In addition, in the media, Jagger launched the news that until he passed his school exams, he was not going to leave for America. Under this pretext, he turned down four NHL clubs, and when asked by Pittsburgh, he replied, If you draft me, I'll be in Pittsburgh the next day. The fact was the mayor Elimier played there, who had been an idol for the Czech since childhood. And in 1990, Jeremy signs a contract with the Pittsburgh Penguins for which he will become a key person for the next decade. Since the first season, he has won two Stanley Cups in a row. We really wanted to show you one of his most beautiful goals in 1992 against Chicago, but due to copyright we didn't embed it in the video, so you can watch it from the link in the description. After a double triumph, the hockey player no longer managed to get the main trophy, but he became the best sniper five times in the regular season. The largest number of goals that he managed to score in a season – 62, and points – 127. And here is why Jagger is in some way the savior of the club. In 1999, the financial situation of the club was on the verge of bankruptcy. The question of the existence of the club seemed insoluble. Jagger suffered a severe groin injury while his team was 3-2 behind New Jersey in the playoffs, but he found the strength to enter the sixth game and, in fact, play it on one leg. Do you have any idea how it feels? This game is definitely a must-see for everyone who loves hockey, and here are its highlights.
And then the Penguins won the seventh game and moved on. In this situation it was not the desire to get the main trophy again, but to win this particular series at any cost and get especially important millions of dollars at that time. There were times when Jagger trained for 10 hours a day. He just took the keys and practiced the technique alone until late at night. Jagger did not want to leave Pittsburgh, but finances and dire circumstances forced him to leave in 2001. He said that the general manager of the club, Craig Patrick, was like a father to him, but Jagger understood that the Penguins could not afford him and other good players. If I hadn't told him that I personally wished to be exchanged, then he would not have exchanged me. Jagger told the newspaper in 2017. As a result, Patrick traded Jagger to Washington for three minor league players and a massive cash payout. After that, the club's fans over the years booed Jagger every time he touched the puck, but at the same time the player was a popular person in the city where he proudly walked the streets, enjoying the style and freedom that he gave to the team from Pittsburgh. By the way, what do you think about this act? Write in the comments. In Washington he did not fit into the team in any way. The players did not feel that Jagger wanted to be in the same ranks with them. Despite the opinions of his teammates, Jagger did not lower the bar, but rather supported it and tried to fit into the game model. He lasted only two seasons in Washington, and again, due to the financial situation of the club, the management decides to exchange Jagger for the Rangers but with a less dramatic history. And then a lockout came in the NHL. The players complained about low salaries, the clubs could not pay them more, and as a result, the 0405 season in the NHL simply did not take place. Many players were looking for a sports hideout in alternative leagues. There were even those who even flew to Australia, but Jagger made an agreement with Evan Gard, and it was a shocking season for Russian hockey. And by the way, the Russian Super League that year became the most hospitable league for foreign players who came from America. And in general, no matter which team Jeremy played, the fans were always interested in his life and playing on the ice. In Omsk, people even came to the training of the team just to see the world-class star in person. According to the hockey player, upon arrival in Siberia he immediately fell ill and his debut performance against Himke ended in loss. Both long journeys to other cities and two workouts a day during a break were unusual, but Avantgarde at that time was on the 11th line and in this position the club had to be saved. There was no better candidate for Jagger, and the choice was justified. Already in the next home match against Everstal, the Czech scored already in the third minute and ensured the mood for victory for the world team. 4-1. A day later Ska arrived in Omsk and was defeated with a score of 4-2. And the third Russian meeting is the game with CSKA in Moscow. The stadium was sold out, people came in anticipation of miracles on the ice. And so it happened. Jeremy scored a hat-trick and saved the team from defeat. The match ended with a score of 4-4. There were no overtimes in the regular season yet, and the teams got one point each. What can I say? The whole league. But what about the league? The whole country was on the ears. Fans bought copiously sweaters with the hero's name, which was dazzling in the headlines of every sport publication. That season Jagger earned 52 points in 43 games, and in the playoffs in overtime he scored one of the brightest goals in Russian hockey. All good things in Russia come to an end, and after the lockout is cancelled, Jagger is sent back to the Rangers. This condition was spelled out in his contract. After playing a season in Russia, he left the following comment. Russian hockey players are technically more sophisticated, because the hockey rinks in Russia are larger and you can demonstrate your skills. In the USA you have almost no space to show your technique. In Russia everything is not at all the same as in the United States. In Omsk I felt at home. Three years ago, during the lockout, playing here, I liked everything. 
and the attitude of the fans and the kindness and support of a governor. In New York he spent four seasons, in one of which he scored 54 goals and earned 123 points. Since then, not a single Ranger has been able to surpass the check in terms of these indicators. When the contract with the Rangers ended, despite a large number of offers from the NHL, Jagger nevertheless decided to return to Omsk, which he loved so much, and in Russia the Continental Hockey League project was just about to start. Having signed a two-year contract with Evan Gard, Jeremy actually became the face of the league and immediately starred in such promo video. Выиграть кубок Гагарина скоро будет почетнее, чем кубок Стэнли. КХЛ поднимет игры в новый уровень. Плюс не играет в хоккей. Хоккей – наша игра. Evan Gard went to playoff for three seasons in a row, but never made it to the final. And the point here is rather not in Jagger, because a priori questions should not arise to him because of his super recoil on the ice, but questions specifically to his teammates and the coach, who did not damage to use Jeremy 100%, but this is a completely different story. But as a sign of respect, all three years that he played in the KHL, the All-Star game was held in the form of Jagger's team against Yashin's team. I think that every Omsk citizen can thank him for at least raising the status of the club and giving him a wonderful show less than as much as three years. Once on the air, Jagger was asked what besides hockey you remember in Omsk, and he replied that he remembers how he and Sushinsky went to one of the bars and there he first tried the screwdriver. From alcohol he could only drink it, and from Baileys he refused and said that it was for girls. None of the hockey fans wanted to let Jeremy leave Omsk, but in order to grow you need to move on, all the more the team's results began to decline, so he decides to go back to the NHL. Then he also played for many clubs, including Philadelphia, Dallas, Boston, New Jersey, Florida and Calgary. Later we will show all the statistics of Jagger, but for now let's talk about his personal life. Throughout his life Jeremy had many girls, whom if we list, then the video will drag on for a long time, so we will tell you about the most important thing. Since 2007 he met with the Czech model Inna Pugaikova. The couple met for six years, but it never came to a wedding. And in 2015 18-year-old model Katerina Pravazhnikova spent the night with a hockey player. And while Jagger was sleeping, the girl took a selfie with him and demanded almost 2000 euros for the photo. The player refused to pay, and then she leaked the picture to the Czech media. At the World Championships in the Czech Republic he met Veronika. They spent the summer in Europe and at the beginning of the NHL season the girl moved to Florida where Jagger played. The 28-year-old girl was opening her store, with the help of a hockey player. People thought that Jagger had finally found his constant companion in life, but the couple met for four years and it did not come to the wedding again. Once the famous defender Darius Kasparatis suggested that Jeremy does not age in body and soul precisely because he is energized by young girls. They feed him, provoke him to grow as a person and keep breaking records, despite his age. In part, Jeremy agreed with this. What do you think? Write about it in the comments. Now Jeremy is 49 years old. He lives in the Czech Republic and owns the Kladno hockey club, for which he himself plays. The club is now in the second league. Jagger is also a fan of Czech tennis players, about which he writes on his Instagram. Not so long ago he was named ambassador for the 2022 Olympic Games. Together with him, another great hockey player, Wayne Gretzky, is involved in promoting the Olympics. In 2019 the President of the Czech Republic awarded Jagger the first degree medal of merit. This award was received by only 55 people who made the greatest contribution to the development of the country and achieved high results at the international level. Now facts. Jagger always played at number 68 in memory of his grandfather. This is due to the invasion of Soviet troops into Czechoslovakia in 1968. He almost never drinks alcohol and drank milk at team parties. 
Jeremy has scored 135 winning goals in his career, more than any other player in NHL history. As part of the Czech national team, Jagger took goal twice in the final from the Russian national team. This was in 2010 at the World Championships and in 1998 at the Olympic Games in Japan. He made 16 hat trick during his career, the difference between the latter and the first is 24 years. 216 different players made at least an assist to Jeremy Jagger in the NHL. Playing for Pittsburgh, he managed to appear in the popular Russian film Brother 2. And finally, he is the first player in the number of goals scored in official matches in the history of hockey and the most productive European in the history of the NHL. I feel such a record will be difficult for someone to beat. Alex, what do you say? And finally, some beautiful goals of Jeremy Jagger for Omsk Avantgarde. We wanted this video to be as atmospheric as possible, so that every person was imbued with the life of Jeremy Jagger, and we believe that we have succeeded. If you think so, like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get 1000 like under this video, and we will release the same detailed video about the life of another famous hockey player. Sport City, Max Kononov, bye everyone!